Amy Stewart, the author of Earth Moves, said they don't sing or chirp, they don't gallop or soar, they don't make tools, hunt or write books, but they do something just as powerful. They consume, they transform, they change the earth. She was talking about the earthworm and I'm here to tell you that she was right. And that we've been literally stepping over a earth changing solution that had given the right attention could be a game changer for the United Nations race for sustainability for 2030. Like Stuart before us, our team and I today realized that the ability of the earthworm to transform waste into gay, what we think is garbage and useless into something amazing, will reconstruct global recycling, be able to revitalize soil with microorganisms, and help cultivate a sustainable future that'll get us to 3030. We want real global solutions, right? Well, it's time to start collaborating with the best of the best. And who better to help us to care for the earth than the earthworm, who's been doing it for hundreds of millions of years. You see, we are so stressed and concerned about what's happening with our planet. We're running around having global conferences, billionaires willing to donate billions, major reconstruction projects on the table, but we've been doing this for years. It should be clear now that real global solutions are not found in the flash and buzz of the world stage. Real answers will not be heard in the roaring and screaming of crowds, but one real solution can be found in the amazing intestines of the earthworm. Wait, what? Yep, you heard it here. Producing earthworm poop is a real global solution, and my team and I have developed a smart, semi-automatic vermin composting system that makes playing with earthworms fun, but more importantly, impactful. And guess what? It can be do done in the comfort of your home. Not all solutions are found in the billions of dollars, but in the billions of earthworms. And it gets even better, because you and I really don't need to do that much, thanks to the intestines of the earthworm. On a daily basis, you and I just need to feed them this. Remember when I told you that earthworms eat waste and decay? Well, by simply feeding them some of our inorganics and organics, they will produce the most important poop of our lifetime. And if mass produced, it would create a transformation that we'd all see in our lifetime. Just to give you some facts so you can see how incredible this is, vermicast is a renewable resource, super important. Once in the soil, it brings rich biodiversity back into the soil, giving life to this earth. Are you excited yet? And it's able to br help bring sustainable infrastructures where everyone around the world benefits. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, I present to you Lombriz, the earthworm, a real climate solution. And I invite all of you to begin working with them so that all of us can help our local farmers to be able to bring life back into our earth and most importantly, share in a solution that we all need. And it comes locally in a small package in the dark, quiet soil where we find the unsung heroes doing what they do best. And that is consuming, transforming, and together changing the earth. Thank you. Danny, thank you. I always thought I had great respect for earthworms, but um, now I'm just totally a fan. But tell me a little bit more about the impact that they can have. So I get that these earthworms have the ability to transform waste into compost, but using that compost at a global scale, tell me more about that and how it creates impact. Well, I mean, the big thing is chemical fertilization. And so if we can start phasing out chemicals, that instantly, automatically, we're going to decrease the chemicals that go into our food, which is a big cause of cancer, for example. Uh, a lot of the chemicals that are actually put into the plants are not absorbed. So there's a lot of runoff. So that goes into our water systems, it goes into our air. So by just simply giving earthworm casting or vermin cast into the fields, we eliminate air, water, and soil contamination. Thank you. Danny, may I ask, can you tell us what's on that tray that you held up? Oh, of course. My breakfast. So we have uh, melon, we have cucumber, we have paper, and then toilet uh, paper roll. It's amazing how many things around our house can be that earthworms can eat. So that's why I say organics and inorganics. There's things around our house that we do not need to throw in our trash. And one of the most important things is that organics, it's not trash. 
It's something that the earthworm can take and transform and make it into something amazing. Thank you for this nice talk. I, I was wondering if it's possible to recover soil that it's already damaged by, by chemicals. I mean, and how, how, for how long do we need to, to, to wait for these worms to recover this kind of soils? Best question. Absolutely. We can absolutely regenerate our soils. That's the beautiful thing about verming cats. If you go into, you know, nearby Puebla, a lot of our soils are just filled with metals. But as soon as we start putting vermin cast, it begins to restore all of that. And so um, within a couple of years, you can have soils that have been dead now producing crops again. Because again, what vermin cast does, it brings back life into the soil. It isn't just about restoration. It's about giving life into soil which at the end of the day is what we need to be able to produce quality crops. Tammy, may I come in with another question? You talked about Please. this being scaled up. Um, I wonder what would that look like in the landscape? What, 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 are, what are you envisaging? Perfect. Yes. So my team and I have developed a, a system where um, you don't have to be an earthworm expert. The system does everything for you. It's automatic. It controls temperatures, pH levels, humidity, all of that. And so you put this in your home or your business or in a cafeteria in a big factory. And all you have to do is throw all of this into this smart vermin composter. So just imagine millions and millions of, of homes and businesses around the world not throwing this into the garbage, but throwing into this smart vermin composter. And there is where we have the mass production of vermin cast worldwide. Can I ask you one last thing? Vermin cast. What, what is the first word? I don't understand it. Vermin cast. Vermin or verming. Vermin. 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 I'm sorry. That's my, my accent. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, I got it. Thank you. Worm poop. Worm, Worm poop. poop. That's even got it. it.